Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick. Today we're gonna to go over one of our inventory units. This is a 2023 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck. It is a hail sail trailer. Not only is it a hail sail trailer, it is a 23 model we're also trying to get rid of because we are getting a bunch of 24s in. So you're gonna get huge discounts on this trailer. One, it's got some hail damage, and then two, again, it's got 23 pricing on it versus the 24 pricing. So this trailer is priced very, very well, and it could suit one of you guys very good. We'll start off by running through this front, I guess, dressing room up here. It is a closet tack setup, so your front door is for your dressing room area. There's not really anything to hold your tack in there because we set it up to where your closet tack is behind that, so you can kind of keep your tack separated from stuff you want stored up front. But up front, in this dressing room, it is a fully carpeted floor, fully carpeted gooseneck deck, and fully carpeted drop wall. We do throw a little kickstand here on your drop wall in case you do have some stuff stored up there or you want to throw a mattress up there and weekend out of this thing. We have two windows in our gooseneck. Again, you can open those up, get some airflow going in here. Um, if you take a look at the roof, you will notice some of the hail dings on this roof. So again, everything is purely cosmetic when it comes to the hail on these. Um, you should have no leaks, anything like that. You will still get full warranty, but again, you are going to save thousands of dollars um, on this trailer as compared if you come by, you know, a 24 bullseye with no hail damage. Behind this dead corner over here, um, our closet tack kind of makes this awkward little shape over here, but it does give you guys plenty of storage. It gives us a nice place. If you want to throw a corner water tank in here, we can tuck it back out of the way. We can hang bridle hooks up here. A lot of the times with this setup, we will throw totes up here. You can store hay in here and use this as kind of a storage room. Keep your tacks separate. That way you're not fighting through the stuff you're storing to get to your saddles, your tacks, stuff like that. So again, this is a really popular setup, especially on these three and four bullseyes. We do these closet tacks quite a bit. We get to the actual tack room on this trailer. Again, completely separated. We are gonna have our swing out four tier saddle rack. Again, this comes with four slots, so you can pull these out if you only want three saddle racks. You can adjust them to give you a little more space if you have a high horn saddle or something like that. Up high, wrapping our whole wall, we are gonna have bridle hooks up high, fully carpeted behind. And then behind our swing out, we kind of have another corner behind this saddle rack. We do have a corner water tank, so again, you can carry water from home with you. You don't have to worry about trying to find water, especially in those cold months when most fairgrounds and uh, gas stations shut their water off. But again, you can always take water with you. It comes with a hose, you can easily fill it. Fill water buckets outside this door and keep your horses hydrated while you're traveling. The door to this closet tack, again, it's got a 50% sliding window, so you can open that up and really get air moving in there to dry your blankets out after a long day. We do have swing out blanket bars on this door as well. So again, by making those swing out, it makes it super easy. I know if I have just like a solid stationary one that doesn't swing out, it's really easy getting your first one or two set of pads in, but then you have to fight against those pads, fight against the door to get your next set on, and it never really works out that well. So by being able to swing it straight out, you can easily just slide all your pads straight on pull it over against the door, and then use that door as kind of some tension on those pads so they're not slipping and falling off while you're traveling. Below that, we do have our brush tray. Again, you can keep your, bray, your sprays, your sochines, fly sprays, brushes, everything in here. It does have a carpeted base, so again, you can easily remove this, clean this, and then each corner is slotted, so if anything does leak in here, it is gonna drain out of there and not collect in this brush tray as well. Moving down our passenger side, we do have an LED spotlight up high. Again, giving you guys light out here if you're tying out, saddling here early morning, late nights, you're gonna have enough light to be able to feed your horses, check on your horses, saddle your horses. Our hip side of this trailer, we do have those same 50% sliding type bus windows. Again, you can open those up 50% of the way, really get that airflow coming through this trailer to cool your horses off in the summer. And again, super simple to close them up in the winter if you got a colder morning like it is this morning. It is a 610 wide trailer. So you are gonna get this full length running board, full length fender flare. Again, the running board's super nice because it gives you a step to be able to check on your horses. It also serves as a nice step to be able to climb up into that dressing room or tack room. Down low, we are on two Dexter rubber torsion axles. These are aluminum wheels. And I wanna point out, we have green caps on our tires, which means these are coming from the factory nitrogen filled. So what that nitrogen filled on these tires do, does is it really eliminates that PSI fluctuation you see if you're just putting you like normal air in from a compressor. Um, with these nitrogen, nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like normal, you know, air does. So cold morning like this morning and not having to imp or add air in because that air is not as 
warm in the tires and then again when it warms up in the afternoon you're not having to dump air out to keep it at that psi you want to ride at the nitrogen will keep these tires balanced which will add to the life of these tires and if you you know get a low tire or something like that you can't find a place to put nitrogen you can easily just put normal air in these you don't have to put nitrogen in these tires As we come around to the load side of this trailer, it is a 50-50 rear door, LED spotlight up high, giving you guys enough light to be able to load and offload safely. In these bullseye models, our standard usually is a wood floor. This one has the upgraded aluminum floor in this bullseye model. Um, so again, you're getting a great floor. They go ahead and they vortex coat that aluminum. Anything you see with that black coating on it is that vortex coating, which is pretty similar to a rhino lining, and it really just helps pr protect any of the exposed metal on this trailer. If you have a horse that kicks or paws, they can chip away at that vortex without actually chipping away at your trailer material. For our rear divider in this Bullseye 4 horse, we do a telescoping padded divider. The reason we make it telescoping is because if you are wanting to run with these dividers in the open position against this wall, we have to make it telescoping so we can shut your rear door and it's super simple. It just slides in itself and then you can pin it over here on the wall, easily load ATVs, UTVs, stuff like that. All our other dividers are gonna be pretty similar. They're just non-telescoping. They are padded, full dividers, non-airflow. And again, they have those same tiebacks. And if you do wanna run these open, you can easily just tie them back out of the way and use the full space of this trailer. Maybe, there we go. Um, front stall of this trailer, again, gives you a good view of that vortex coating wrapping all the way around. So again, you have a horse that likes to paw, they can chip away at this vortex. You can easily get that vortex repaired compared to if they're just going straight at the metal and denting that metal, chipping that metal. This really adds some rigid rigidity to this trailer. In all of our stalls on this trailer, we're gonna have a tie ring situated directly centered above each stall. Again, giving you guys a nice place to tie horses out. If you're hanging feed bags, hanging buckets, you can hang from that ring. And then each one of our stalls will come with D-rings already. If you want to drop a corner canvas feed bag in here, you can easily do so. The corner feed bags are awesome. I mean, you put them in there, they hang low. Your horses aren't having to reach or fight a net to eat. Um, really simple to add them to these trailers, and they give you the option to do so right from the factory. Up high, situated for each one of our four stalls, we are going to have our two-way roof vents as well to really allow you guys to pull air into this trailer or pull air out and really maximize that airflow. You can also see some of the hail damage up on the roof. Again just cosmetic damage pretty much on these trailers the roof's got it you won't see it on your passenger side but your driver's side will kind of have it hit and miss on some of the side sheets so again not crazy hail um, but again it is a 23 model so you have those discounts and then you have that hail discount on top of it so there's going to be a really good deal on this trailer on our hip wall again gives you a good view of those sliding types they are jail barred sliding types you're not going to have to worry about tail heads coming through your windows as much because those jail bars are going to kind of deflect those. We have LED lighting for each one of our four stalls. You can either operate all of them from a switch on the back or you can operate these lights individually with the switch on the bottom. You will have to be plugged into your truck to use all the interior lights um, unless you do go ahead and you know, throw a hydraulic jack on or throw a battery package on this trailer. To work our way out of this trailer, we're going to come to the head side. Again, it's gonna look really similar to our tail side, with the exception of on our head side, we do have these nice Logan drop windows. And I can show you just how nice and easy they are. Normally a big drop window like this, you're gonna have a handle latch on the side or the top, and that's really hard to get to. Logan runs a bar down the center, center strap of their windows. So as long as you can reach that bar and pull straight towards the ground, you can easily drop all these windows and not have to fight a latch. So you can see just how easy it is to drop these windows. They also throw another cool feature on these windows. Not only do you get your sliding type if you want to run these closed and just get a little bit of airflow, maybe it's a little colder or you don't want that air whipping that hay around, but you also can drop your jail bars as well to easily feed, check on your horse while you're traveling. And it's the same concept. Your middle jail bar, if you can pull that towards the ground, I mean, you can drop these in a matter of seconds to be able to feed on your horses, check your horses, water your horses, whatever you need to do while you're traveling. So it's a really cool concept Logan does. It's really user friendly and super simple. You don't have to be super tall to reach a latch or anything like that. They run super smooth. And again, we do have our four tie rings on this side for our four horse and another LED spotlight up high, giving you guys enough light to be able to see what you're doing on this side of the trailer early morning, late night. 
So you work our way around. Again, a little bit of hail damage on this driver's side. It's kind of sporadic as compared to the roof. And this white color doesn't show it as well. You might not be able to even pick it up in this video. We'll finish off here up under our nose. Again, you can see all this vortex coating on that exposed metal. Again, this is where most of your rock chips are gonna happen while you travel, so they vortex coat that. In case you do get some rock chips, again, it's chipping away at that vortex, not your actual metal on this trailer. We have our spare tire. We have a matching wheel to the ones that are on the ground. Of course, it's flipped around to, again, prevent those rock chips from actually hitting the good side of that wheel, but we do have a matching wheel and tire that'll match the wheels and tires that are currently on the ground. That way you guys get a flat and a blowout. You're not throwing a steel wheel on, you're throwing a matching wheel spare tire on this trailer. And up here at our nose, we do have our Bulldog 2 and 5 16 coupler, safety chains, breakaway cable, and then of course our seven pin. So again, really nicely set up trailer. It is the last 23 four horse hail sale Logan Bullseye that we have sitting here. So again, this trailer's priced really, really great if you wanna give us a call on it. Stock number for this trailer is 5N221688. Again, it's a 23 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck. We have it on a 23 sale out clearance and then we also have some hail sale discounts on it so you're interested in this trailer feel free to give me a call again my name is tanner here at trans west truck trailer rv and frederick phone number is 303-684-3409 thanks for tuning in